Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to talk to you about Albion One today. Albion One, everything you need to write epic film music in one box. You can go from roaringly loud to really subtle and quiet. We're going to look at the Stevenson Steam Band today. This is our organic synth section. Everything made from original recordings of orchestras, but mangled in the most extraordinary ways to create some really unusual sounds. And I'm just going to jump straight in. Really easy to use. Looks a bit scary when you first load it up, but it's actually quite intuitive. Um, but you can just load the patches and play. Check this out. Now, on a lot of these sounds, the modulation wheel on your keyboard or CC1, if you have that set up on a controller, um, does some really unusual stuff. And it can be set to trigger a number of different controls on the front panel of the, of the uh, UI. So let's check that out on this particular patch. Now you can hear there that most of what's happening is a low pass filter being opened up and closed again, which gives you that kind of characteristic brightening and darkening of the sound. But if we check out something slightly different, Now on this one, we've got different distortion settings, different filter settings on both bays. So that's giving you a little bit of extra control there. And you can hear what's happening here is that this control, the mod wheel controller or your CC1 controller, is also bringing in and out the gate sequencer, which is giving you that kind of choppy sound. Um, so there's lots of fun stuff. Usually it's always worth wiggling the mod wheel. There's lots of fun stuff programmed on there. Let's check out a couple more sounds. Among some of the sounds, there's a whole collection of atonal sounds, which means that there's no specific key that you're playing in. It's really a kind of special effect, but created with orchestras. So that gives you that kind of alien-like feel. Here's another example of that. And one final atonal example. Now, because we've made these sounds from orchestras, it would be a real shame if we'd missed out the, the option to do some stuff which sounds like orchestras, but which is synth-like as well. And that's this section, what we call the hybrid orchestra section of this 
part of the library. And I'm going to play you some of these sounds that are kind of like orchestral sounds, because they are, but they've also been mangled a little bit to sound a little bit synth-like. And you can hear there that we've got the gate on that as well on the mod wheel, so you can also control how that's happening. There's also some amazing stab sounds made with brass stabs, but then also kind of distorted and with that stutter gate on. And check this out as well. And the same thing with plucked strings. and with woodwinds. And you've got a little stutter on there available on the mod wheel as well. And the final thing, mega low brass. Really great super fat sounds, the kind of thing that you would find it very, very difficult to create with a normal synthesizer. But using the orchestral sounds, the organic sounds as a source uh, makes it really straightforward to create these. Some really interesting unearthly sounds in that section of drones. Lots and lots of, again, orchestral organic sounds that have been really mangled using lots of outboard processing. So that originally from a Celeste, here are some crotales, little disc bells. And this from a glockenspiel. And here are some woodwind sounds that have been designed, sound designed to sound like a kind of unearthly shruti box, uh, which is a kind of wind instrument with reeds in it that you has bellows that you pump and it produces this amazing drone. Check this out. again with the trem that you can bring in and out. Some amazing clarinets designed into a, a new sound. And finally, we've got an amazing collection of pluck type sounds. So there we have it. This is Stevenson Steam Band. This is the organic synthesizer section of Albion One. Everything you need to make epic film music in one box. Incredibly easy to use, load and play, but also has a lot of controllability. If you want to dive deep into the rabbit hole and start designing your own sounds, it's all there ready for you to use. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks very much and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.